Happy Thursday, everyone. Grab that cup of coffee, sit back, and enjoy this piece of great basin poplar being turned into a beautiful platter. This piece comes from Cut Above Bowl Company. If you are interested in their bowl blanks, you can find their link in the video description. They have some amazing pieces of wood. All right, guys, I will jump back in here periodically to kind of let you know what I'm doing. I have a spot in here that just needs a little attention so I'm using some star bond medium to fill that in and some shavings if you're interested in star bond I do have a link in the video description where you can save yourself 15% off just make sure you enter that coupon code that popped up on your screen TV 15 save yourself 15% off your star bond order I blew this off with the air hose really well and now I'm gonna wipe it back with denatured alcohol before I apply my first coat of water locks satin resin modified finish. We made it to the end. Please stick around. I am going to discuss this turn as well as glam shots. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me that thumbs up. And don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know what you think of this great basin poplar platter. And also, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you never miss out. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Excuse the mess here. I just come out of the shop. I put the third coat of finish on here. It is Wednesday. Normally I have my video complete by then and my project complete. Um, but unfortunately, I think the little spot of resin that I put in this piece, which I did record, unfortunately my camera must have turned off and I lost that footage. Um, it, I think my resin was old and it didn't cure the way it should have cured and it took a lot longer than I expected it to, but that's okay. You're still gonna be able to see what I was going for on this platter and the characters in it. If you wanna see the finished product, you can check out my YouTube community tab. That's where I post periodically on things that I've, I've done or I'm doing. Um, another great place to keep up with me is Instagram and Facebook. Um, those platforms are, I'm always on them. So um, definitely, definitely check out that and make sure you're subscribed to me on here. So that way you're able to interact with me with my community tab and through comments and different things like that. And same with Instagram and Facebook. Um, I want to share this with you and I wish so badly that you were here to see this in person because the character in this piece is just phenomenal. And if you want quality wood and just gorgeous character in your pieces of wood, you need to check out Cut Above Bull Company. We source our own wood and 
we get some really, really beautiful pieces of wood. The majority of the wood that we do get has a lot of character to it. Nothing like this. This great basin poplar is just hands down the most beautiful piece of wood I think I've ever seen. So, are you ready? Look at this. It's so pretty. And you can't capture it on film. That's the beauty of wood. Isn't it beautiful? And there's the little piece that I filled with resin. And like I said, I think my resin might have been old because it took forever to cure it. This right here, these little eyes or whatever, I don't know what they call those in wood pieces, I think that's my favorite spot on this whole thing because it looks like droplets or freckles. <laughs> I just absolutely love it. But there it is, the chuck. <laughs> but it turned out absolutely better than I expected it to, honestly. Um, platters and stuff like that is, is uh, okay. You know, I like making them. Um, but, but just to try to capture, it, it, I don't know. I don't know if it's weird or if it's just me, but for me to do a platter or something like that, it's really hard for me to capture that piece of wood that way. Um, I can capture it better in like a vase or a bowl for some reason, I, I just think. But I think I did a fairly good job on this. And I did want to break it up a little bit so you're able to under, so when you're looking at the top of it, it just doesn't look like a flat round piece of wood. So I did embellish it a little bit with a bead from the rim, just to kind of break it up. I don't know if that helps it any, but I didn't want to take away from the wood. There's absolutely no way I was going to add anything to this color or anything other than that little piece of resin because this wood needs nothing. All right, guys, until next week, y'all take care, stay safe, God bless. Goodbye.